With only so many hours in the day, sometimes it can feel impossible to get everything done. Where time management comes into the equation is providing us with skills and tools to better organize our time, make time for everything, and get absolutely everything on our daily to-do list accomplished while still holding on to every shred of sanity we have. And today, I want to share with you guys those skills and tools I've embraced that have helped me to better manage my time, better organize my time, and make time for absolutely everything I have to get done. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie back with another video. So like I said, in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys all of my absolute top and best time management skills to best organize your time and make time for absolutely everything you have to get done. And also make sure you are not rushing through things and still keep your mental health in check. So nothing more to say. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to subscribe down below to my channel and let's get right on into it. So my first little tip, I'm definitely going to be copy pasting from my productivity video and that is you using a physical to-do list. I cannot manage my time or plan my day or literally get anything done until I have a full-on planned to-do list in front of me. So whether I have to do my to-do list first thing in the morning or the night before, that list has got to get made or I'm not going to get anything done. I have to know everything I have to get done, how long everything is going to take, which tasks require more time or less time. I have to have all that planned in my head so I can better organize and manage my time and make time for everything. Everything. So then another one that has really really been helping me lately is to make a plan for each one of your tasks. For example, if your task is to get a workout done, that could mean 10 million things. Or if your other task is to make lunch, that could also mean 10 million things. What workout are you gonna do? What are you making for lunch? What emails do you have to respond to? So rather than making all of the to-do things on your list, like make lunch, do a workout, study, get super, super specific and write things down in the format like make spaghetti and meatballs for lunch, study math, science, and history. You will save so much time trying to actually come up with a plan when you get to each task because once you get to each task your plans are already made and figured out for you and all you have to do is just get them done and you save so much time doing that. So then the next one has been a big one for me especially in quarantine and that is to minimize interruptions. So the key word in time management is management. If you are consistently being interrupted by noise around you or constant interruptions that are dictating when you do and don't get things done there goes your management right out the window and you lose complete control over your time. So when I have a video to film or a business call I have to jump onto, I make it known to absolutely everybody in the house what I'm doing, how long it's going to take, and how long I need perfect still silence. Because if I have to restart and restart and restart my video because people are coming down the hall, going into rooms closest to mine, I'm being constantly and constantly interrupted, delaying what I have to get done, and losing management and control over my time. Whereas if I have a video to film and get that done, in 30 minutes or less, my time remains managed and controlled by me. I'm finished that task much sooner and on to the next one. So definitely minimizing interruptions has been a massive, massive contributor to managing and organizing my time so much better. This next one you are going to love me for and that is to clean your workspace at the end of the day. Absolutely nothing in the world wastes more of my time than not being able to work at my desk first thing in the morning or filming a video because I have to take time to clean clean up my desk and put things away or tidy up my filming space. Whereas if when I go to answer emails or reply to comments at my desk or sit down to film a video, if those spaces are already tidied up and cleaned up, I don't waste any of that time and I can jump straight into what I have to get done. So I have literally made it a physical to do on my list at the end of the day to clean up my workspace, my desk, my filming area and everything so that the next day when I go into filming or working at my desk, those spaces are already cleaned up and organized and I can just jump right into what I actually have to get done. And if you don't believe me, then set a timer on your phone and clean up your desk, your bed, whatever else, and you'll see exactly how much time it takes to actually clean up all of those areas. And that gives you a pretty good idea of how much time you have saved. So that one has been a big one for me lately. This next one, make the most of waiting times. Waiting for something to 
download or waiting for something to heat up in the microwave, waiting for your turn in line somewhere. If you have some time intervals between your classes or business meetings, that is time you can either spend just sitting there waiting for whatever is coming to happen, or you can take advantage of that time and either do or start on something on your to-do list and then knock off some time later. The key factor in time management is knowing how precious your time is and taking advantage of every spare second you have. So for this next one, I'm going against pretty much every single productivity YouTuber and blogger out there, and it is to never ever time block. Now don't get me wrong, for the first like week, maybe even two weeks that I tried time blocking, I loved it. I loved giving everything its unique individual time slot, making sure nothing like overlapped over each other, but very very quickly I began to realize how restricting it was and how on edge and anxious I felt, how I was actually starting to rush through things to make it to my next time slot. It was just no bueno in every way, shape, and form. I would rather have to start working earlier and finish working a little bit later just for the sake of not having to time block and restrict myself and make time for everything. So what do I do instead of time blocking to still organize and manage my time? So once you have your to-do list in the morning, of course, there are going to be some things on that list you enjoy doing and look forward to doing and other things you maybe don't look forward to doing and maybe don't want to do that you consistently put off and put off and put off. But nine times out of 10, usually the ones you end up putting off are the ones that are the most time sensitive and have the closest deadlines. So once I'm done my to-do list, I look over everything to figure out what has the closest deadlines, what is the most time sensitive, what's going to take me more time versus less time. And then I organize everything I have to do accordingly. If I take care of all the most time sensitive ones first, then I don't really have to worry or rush through everything else I have to get done because it's not as time sensitive and I can go about it a lot slower and a lot easier. So that is what I definitely like doing much more than time blocking. So then this next one is a little bit more of a challenge, but definitely, definitely so important, and that is to find your focus. So not only can physical obstacles get in the way of your time management and your time organization, but so can mental ones. If I'm trying to answer my emails or apply to comments or plan out some videos, but I have thoughts swimming around in my head that are distracting me and that have my mind like 10 million miles away, or even worse, if I'm stuck worrying about something, it is going to take me twice, even three times the time it takes to finish whatever I'm currently working on, and then things get delayed and put off and I lose my time management. So even though it is much, much easier said than done, before I actually start a task, I have to sit there and try to like empty my mind of every other thought and focus 110% of my attention on that one task. So then another very important one is to take breaks in between your tasks. Taking a 10 minute break between each one of your tasks is going to take a lot less time than if you have to take off an entire day because you've burnt yourself out and overexerted yourself. So a lot recently on my channel, I've been talking about the Pomodoro technique where basically you set a 25 minute timer for working on something, then a five minute timer for a break, then another 25, then another five and so on and so forth until you finish your entire to-do list. And I stand by this method because I think it 110% sets the perfect balance between working and taking a break. But it is so, so important to take a break and take a step back from what you're working on, go clear your mind, maybe get a snack, go to the bathroom, get some water or something like that, just to take the time to regulate your mind and have a perfect balance between working and taking a break. Oh my god, this next one, organizing your email. So two different ways you can go about perfectly organizing your email. Number one is using this super awesome tool called Unroll Me, where all you do is for free, you link your email address or your email account, and it basically shows you a list of every single thing you either did or didn't know you were subscribed to, and in a matter of seconds, unsubscribe from everything you don't want to receive emails from. Because it may consciously feel to you like only a few seconds or a few minutes, but if you have to literally take the time to go through your junk folder and your spam folder, delete things you don't want to read or go through, that is time you're taking away from your other tasks and things that are much more important and much more worth your time. So just getting rid of all those email subscriptions and making sure they don't clutter up your email is going to save you so much more time. And then the second tip is to use email folders. So I don't want to have to manage like 10 million different email addresses. So I have the same email for work and business and personal stuff. And my best friend for this type of organization are folders. So I have a folder for my business emails, my personal emails, my family emails. And as I get my emails coming into my inbox, I put each one in the separate folders it belongs to. And that keeps my email inbox so much cleaner and much more organized. And that saves 
saves so much more time. Learn how to say no. Your time is precious and it is up to you to organize your time as you see fit. But this goes two ways. Sometimes you have to turn down a request from a friend or for some leisure activities to focus on work. And other times it is more appropriate to say no to work and go spend some time with your girlfriends. It's knowing when it's time to say no that is the key to time management. And that is a skill we all must learn. Don't respond right away. I am so that person that the second I get an email or a text message or a DM, I forget and drop literally everything I'm doing and go right away to answer them. I've had to learn self-discipline to tell myself, no, you answer that email or that text when you have time for it, finish this task and then get to your emails. Because if I drop what I'm doing to answer an email or reply to a DM, I'm gonna get distracted by six million other things and it's gonna be at least like 45 minutes before I get back to what I was doing. So I had to learn how to control myself and discipline myself and put those messages aside and get to them when I have the time for it. Then my last tip is to turn your systems into habits. So all these things I've shared in this video are skills and systems to learn and teach yourself, but just like anything else, anything you do for 21 days or more, even a month, are going to eventually turn into a habit and something your body and mind kind of do on autopilot. So the longer you pick up all of these habits and tips and tricks and the longer you actually do them for, the quicker they turn into a habit and something you do on autopilot and don't have to actually think about. But that you guys is everything for all of my time management tips and tricks and skills that you guys have been asking for. So I really hope this helped you guys, gave you even one or two new ideas and I hope it helps you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!